Hey everyone, I'm Joel on the road, and today my UNESCO World Heritage journey is at classical Weimar in eastern Germany. This is the town of Weimar in eastern Germany, and it's not a big town, about 60,000 people, a couple of hours south of Berlin. But despite its size, it has an enormous influence on German culture, and that's why it's on the UNESCO World Heritage List. During the late 18th century, under the patronage of the local Duke and Duchess, several very prominent German thinkers and scientists, musicians and theologians were all based here, and they've left their mark on the town. So let's have a look around. So why here, of all places? Well, in the late 18th century, when the Duke died, his wife took over the Duchess Anna Amalia. She was a regent for their infant son, and their son's tutor, Wieland, was a very famous thinker and philosopher, and she encouraged more people like him to come to court to develop their ideas and to work with one another. She also established a library which still exists today and contains over a million volumes of work. This is the house of Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, Weimar's most famous citizen. And he's one of those people that really makes you realize how little you've accomplished with your life. He was the archetypal Renaissance man that was just good at everything he tried to do, whether that was science or evolutionary theory, color theory, writing, uh, literary criticism, diplomacy. Uh, the list just goes on and on. Like, I can't even remember half of the stuff he did. And he lived in this house for quite a long time, and he was an instrumental citizen of the town as well, designing the palace and the large gardens as well. In the late 18th century, the house behind me was home to Johann Gottfried von Herder, a German philosopher, thinker and theologian. And he was very active in criticizing uh, literary works. He was very active in promoting German as opposed to French for German people. And he wrote several important works on uh, religion, on Shakespeare, on many different topics. And his ideas still live on today. So this is the house of Friedrich Schiller, a poet, philosopher, physician, and a very famous playwright. Now, in this house, he wrote many of his most famous works, including Mary Stuart uh, and William Tell. And he was very good friends with Goethe and both spurred each other on to new creative heights. So behind me, you can see the two most famous citizens of the town, Goethe, and Schiller. But it's interesting because Weimar wasn't just a cultural center in the 18th century. It was also a musical center. Johann Sebastian Bach and Franz Liszt both worked and lived here. And it was also where uh, the Bauhaus School of Design first was founded as well. But that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Joel on the road and I'll see you at the next World Heritage site.